Good morning. Every once in a while, I come across an idea for a sales tip, but as I commit the thought to paper, I think to myself, duh, that one's obvious. But that list kept growing, and I got thinking to myself, maybe there is a need for some obvious, aka duh, sales tips. So, with the help of my daughters, who are currently spread out in different parts of the world, and the fabulous Kelly Malazzi, who is deeply embedded in Connecticut, here we go. First, don't be late for an appointment. Some people are chronically tardy, and that can be everything from a character flaw to downright annoying, depending on your upbringing and gender. But if you're in sales and you show up after the start of a scheduled appointment, you are sending a message to the customer. Do it enough, and the client will start to wonder about your ability to hit your delivery dates. So, my first obvious sales tip to you is this. Don't be late. Duh. Second, communicate. We live in a world where if you order something online, a tracking number appears immediately. This was once an extraordinary event, but has become expected. Don't let the client twist in the wind and wonder what his job status is. A client calling and asking, when is my job going to ship, is a sign of failure on your part. Get out ahead of the customer. Communicate. Uh, duh. Third, return messages immediately. Unless you are on vacation or in a coma, there is no excuse for not getting back to someone pronto, regardless of whether the call came from a customer or an associate or a fellow employee. Even if you shoot off an email to let someone know that you got their message and will call them back in an hour, that's better than nothing. Duh. Fourth, dress to impress. Despite the fact that we don't have as much face time with customers as we used to, it remains important to be presentable. Do you remember this sales tip? Hi, I'm Bill Farquharson, and I'm appropriately dressed for sales. And I'm Casual Friday, Bill Farquharson. Okay, I'm beyond Casual Friday. I'm more like... Day three of a stay-at-home vacation, Bill Farquharson. Don't make me dress like that again, just to make my point. Spend some money on some clothes. Make sure that they are clean, and you'll make a better impression. Duh! Fifth, use a breath mint. No one thinks that they've got bad breath. You may have arrived for work all clean and minty fresh, but as the day goes by, You've developed a terminal case of halitosis. If you have a meeting coming up with a client, break out the Altoids and do the world a favor. Duh. 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 Well, that's the first five. Yep, another five awaits you next week. What? You thought it would stop here? Duh. Hey, let's talk. Now you can book time on my calendar and talk about your sales challenges or your salespeople or your company's future or whatever. Just go to this website right down here and grab yourself a time slot. Let's talk.